certain of the songs needed to be done classically. And when you have an artist like John Williams, who unquestionably the finest classical guitar player in the world, um, you've got to give him something to do. You've got to give him a challenge. That's an interesting one. Do you, might, do you want to <laughs> do another one, though? Here Comes a Sun was an interesting song because um, it has complicated rhythms in it. The bar lines are all over the place. It also um, is quite repetitive, so I thought, well, in that case, we can use that repetition to quite well by making it a kind of theme and variations. See, on all of these repeated bits, there are six of them. That's it. I've got, I've got different orchestral backings, That's and it's, exactly. it's a bit, not exactly young person's guide to the orchestra, but it goes around the orchestra. Exactly. You have strings, you have woodwind, you have timps, Doing different doing things. Little, yeah. And um, well, by the time we get to this bit. Well, that's why I thought what, whatever's there, yeah. this sort of thing is quite clear. It will be see, good because the, the trombones are pumping away. Are they? Oh, brilliant. Boom, 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 boom. Great. Well, that's perfect because that sort of thing will be clear. Yeah. Whereas you'll lose the lower notes and you'll just hear odd notes. Yeah, just, and then. And I could. It, I think no, playing be. popular tunes, which this is, is always a bit of a challenge for a straight player or a classical player like myself because a lot of the offbeats which you often get, and this particular tune, Here Comes the Sun, is almost bass around it, uh, they, they should kind of float in a very easy way and that the, the, straight, the straight musician's way of playing it is to play each offbeat strictly in time and it can sound a bit sort of cut and dried. So, it's always a bit of a challenge for someone like myself to try and get the right feel without being too uh, sort of chapter and verse about it. The beat is never where you expect it to be. And it sometimes throws classical people when you, when you have this kind of thing. It's either before or after the beat, whichever way you look at it, because the beat is pulsing away. That's okay in the way that I was frightened of. <coughs> Those offbeats always mm. the thing is you tend to overplay that. You like you've got a sniff between each. It's coming from something somewhere else. Yes. We do that live with the. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Probably. The arrangement is very different from the original in that it is it is symphonic. I wrote a special score which um, starts off in a very sunrisey kind of way. And there's no doubt that Ravel's got somewhere in that introduction. I think the main difficulty, actually, in recording it was making sure that you heard John, because a, a classical guitar working against a full orchestra has quite a bit of a battle in the sound. I like the, the kind of 
Here Comes the Sun image, which I think was very well expressed in the tune. Uh, there are nice tunes and there are nice words, and they don't always match. Even if they don't conflict with each other, they don't actually necessarily help each other. But in this particular song, I think they do. It, goes very, it has a very, starting on the major third in the A major, dee -da -da -da, it has a very sort of up bright feel, which really is very suited to the words. So I've liked it for those reasons. The fact that it's also a guitar kind of a guitar tune, even though originally it was on uh, tall string sort of uh, steel strung, you know, steel strings, it was, uh, it's, it's a, still a very nice guitar tune. <laughs> Just telling me earlier um, that uh, there are different ways of fingering this and tuning the guitar for it. And apparently, George Harrison, who I've never met, so uh, I'd like to congratulate him on this lovely song, which I've never had a chance to do. Um, uh, there are different ways of tuning the guitar for it, and uh, they can be played both ways, actually. Uh, I hope the way that I've tuned the guitar for it, he likes. <laughs> 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 